At the beginning of the movie, we see a girl who finds a boat in the pool. She told her sick brother that she was going to get the boat for him. Her brother didn't say anything because he was very sick. The girl went to the pool and jumped into the water. Suddenly, a strange force pulled her into the depths of the water. She saw her mom outside the pool. She tried her best to come out. When she came out, there was no one outside. Suddenly, a strange force pulled her into the water again. The girl was never seen again. The scene then shifts to the present time, and we see Ray's family. They were looking for a house with a swimming pool to stay in, where Ray could be treated because of an accident. Ray's central nervous system was damaged, and now he was not able to do things like walking and looking properly, and because of this, he was removed from the team. They choose the same house to stay as we saw at the start of the movie. After moving into that home, they first think about cleaning the pool. Ray's hand is cut while doing this. Now they call some professional people to clean the pool. The water source of this pool was underground. They didn't have to put water in the pool themselves. Naturally, the water under the ground used to come into this pool. They say that this water can prove to be very good for you. Anyway, we see that the pool was ready again. This family was very happy. Everyone was having a lot of fun. They do some of their work. And at night, Ray's wife goes to swim in the pool again. She also sees Ray standing outside the pool while swimming. But when she comes out, there was no one here. Ray's wife gets scared of all these things and goes inside the house. Now here we see a cat sitting on coach. She sees the same boat in the middle of the pool, which was shown at the beginning of the story. And the next day, all of them found their cat's collar in that water. Their cat was now missing. Ray's son was very sad about this. His mom tells him not to be sad. We will put a cover on this pool so that this never happens again. Ray notices that there is no pain in the big cut. He got from the swimming pool yesterday. He opens the bandage and sees that such a big cut was completely cured. Just like as if no injury has ever been inflicted. Ray thinks that all this happened because of the water in the pool. That's why he spends as much time in the pool as possible. On the other hand, Ray's wife starts having bad dreams related to the pool. The next day, Ray goes to the doctor for a regular checkup. The doctor says that surprisingly, Ray is recovering very fast. It is shown that Ray's son was sitting near the swimming pool, when suddenly, a lot of coins start coming into the swimming pool. He thinks that these coins are probably thrown by his dad. He starts collecting them. Suddenly, he sees a girl in the water, the same girl we see in start of this movie. That girl was asking for help from the drain hole of the swimming pool. When he puts his hand in this drain, he gets a toy. When he takes out this toy, he sees a lot of hair on it. Suddenly, those hairs turn into hands, and this hand starts pulling him towards itself. The child gets very scared and comes out of here. He tells all these things to his mom. When his mom checks, there was nothing there. All of them go to Ray's baseball practice together. While doing this, Ray was feeling very weak at first, but then when he puts all his focus, this time he hit such a shot that the ball burst. Along with everyone, he was also surprised by this thing. At night, Ray and his wife go for dinner. Ray's daughter calls her friend. When these people are swimming in the swimming pool, suddenly that girl sees a ghost in the water. Afraid of this, she was about to come out of the pool, but the same ghost pulls her into the water. Not only this, this ghost also took her down from the water of the swimming pool. This girl, saving herself from this, comes out of the swimming pool. She was so scared that her brother also understood that something bad had happened to her. That boy tells his sister that he knows that something is wrong in this pool and we should tell mom and dad about this. But that girl says, no, you won't do that. Because of this pool, their dad is healing very quickly and our mom is also happy. Both of them believed that this pool was a ghost but they don't tell their mom and dad about this. The next day, 
These people have a pool party, and Ray comes to the agent from whom he bought this house. Ray's wife asks him, I have heard that the pool was closed for 15 years. How is it possible that the people who lived here for so many years did not use this pool? The agent says that a girl had drowned here many years ago, about whom people started talking nonsense. People started getting scared of this pool, and then no one ran this pool, Ray's wife says. Was that girl's name Rebecca? The agent was shocked that how do you know about this? This name was actually told by the pool to Ray's wife. During the pool party, everyone was enjoying. While Ray's son was watching everything that was going on in this pool party from the camp, because he didn't want anything bad to happen here. Ray who was in the water with a child at this time. Suddenly, he sees a black shadow in the pool, which went inside him in a second possessed him instantly. As soon as he comes under the control of that black shadow, Ray goes into the water with that child, Ray's son, who is standing in his room, notices all this and comes down and tells his mother, these people save the child in Ray's hand, but the child with whom Ray had gone into the water was his coach's son. The coach was very angry. He could have filed in fur against Ray. But Ray's wife tells him that this must have happened because of Ray's illness. Ray's condition had also become very strange. He was also doing strange things. That's why his wife locks him in the room. And she herself starts researching on the girl who was drowning in this pool, saying this. She finds out that people have been disappearing in this pool for centuries. After knowing this, she herself was in fear. She first removes the water from this pool and then goes to Rebecca's mother home and asks her what happened to Rebecca and your son, who was very sick. How is he completely fine today? And how did he become such a big man in the city? First of all, this woman says that whatever you are telling is a lie. I didn't have a daughter, but Ray's wife keeps on insisting. She starts telling a story of a wishing well, a story of such a well, by putting coins in it. People's wishes would be fulfilled, because the water of the wishing well was magical, and that's why that water was worshipped. But, there is a twist in the story. Whenever someone used to wake this water up to fulfill his wish, then this water would ask for a price, and Rebecca's story was that her brother was very sick. Whom we saw at the beginning of the story, her mother wanted to cure him, that's why she asked for a wish from this water, and she paid the price of fulfilling this wish by giving her daughter to pool water. In simple words, she sacrificed her daughter to cure her son. Ray's wife notices that this woman was crying with black tears. Something was possessing her, and the water here was also doing strange things. She gets scared of all these things and leaves. But now she had also understood that she had filled this pool to cure Ray. Ray will be fine. But this water will take one of his children when she come home. We see that Ray's two children are looking for their parents. And that's when Ray's son hears his cat outside. When he goes out to check, he is surprised to see that the pool was filled with water again. This bothers him because he knew that. His mother had emptied this pool. He goes ahead to check the pool and then again. He sees his cat sitting on a tube in the pool to save him when he goes inside the pool. Something pulls him inside the pool and the cover of the pool starts closing. Ray's daughter, who was watching all this, goes out to save her brother. And in the meantime, Ray's wife also comes here. Both of them start trying to open the cover of the pool again and Ray's wife tells her daughter to go and call Ray for help. But inside, Ray was badly possessed by some evil power. He had taken it in his control, and that's why Ray attacks his daughter too. Here, Ray's wife puts a pipe in her mouth and jumps into the pool, so that she can save her son and breathe through this pipe. When she goes down from this pool, she faces deep water. She finds her son here, but she also sees a lot of ghosts. All these ghosts were scaring her. She tries to escape from them, but she couldn't find the way out. And here, Ribika's soul helps her. She drops a coin into the water. 
Ray's wife took her son out of the pool while going in the direction of the coin. But now his son was not breathing. She was trying to save him. And that's when the possess Ray comes here. And he tells her that you won't be able to save your son. As soon as he says this, he also grabs his wife by the neck and lifts her in the air. Before he kills his wife, his daughter hits his baseball bat on his head from behind. And that's when Ray remembers the good times. He spent with his family. He vomits, and the evil spirit inside him comes out. And the evil spirit that came out of Ray had turned the water black. Ray had now understood that someone would have to go into the water and make a sacrifice. He himself falls into this water to save his family, and this water had accepted him as a sacrifice and given his son a new life. And in the last scene of the movie, it is shown that Ray's family was missing him a lot. They had now decided that they would live in this house for the rest of their lives, so that no one ever wakes up the water in this pool again, and neither does this pool kill anyone else with whom this film story ends here.